Be it chocolate, mint chip, or boring vanilla. Ice cream is never the wrong choice, whether we feel happy or sad, angry or delighted that one comfort food that comes to our minds is none other than ice cream. From birthdays to comfort food on a bad day, this frozen dessert always has our back. But when it comes to ice cream, one of the most prominent names in our heads is Baskin Robbins. One of the world's largest ice cream chains with over 8,000 global locations today. Ice cream for many people is much more than food. This feeling is mutual between the founders of Baskin Robbins and us. Baskin Robbins was co-founded in 1965 by two brothers-in-law during World War II in Glendale, California. The primary objective behind opening an ice cream store was to have a gathering place where the neighborhood families could make memories. Burton Burt Baskin and Irvin Irv Robbins had a mutual love for ice cream and a great desire to make it available to the public in a variety of flavors made with the best ingredients paired with a fun, relaxing atmosphere. They wanted their shop to be a place where one could enjoy ice cream and have a great time. Surprisingly, these two gentlemen started ice cream shops separately at first, unlike the name suggests. Both the gentlemen had a great experience with working and making ice cream before starting their ventures. Irvine was born in Tacoma, Washington in 1917 and worked at his father's ice cream shop as a teen but hated the regular and boring chocolate and strawberry flavors as they were very standard. So day after day, he started to experiment by adding varieties of fruits and candles to the traditional flavors to give them a unique twist. While he spent hours there, he started to realize that people came to his dad's shop to have ice cream and a break from the hustle bustle of the city. And this mindset stuck as it was provided in his own shops. He even started to name them and tried selling them at the local vendor's shop. But the owner would remove his signs and labels from the product, making him earn quite a shiny penny. Soon, the World War II broke out and his dream took a setback. Burton was born in Chicago, Illinois in 1913 and had a hand in making ice creams for his fellow U.S. Navy troops while serving in World War II in the South Pacific. At that time, Burton had luckily obtained a freezer from an aircraft carrier supply officer. He began making one of the most marvelous flavors of ice cream for his colleagues using his own mind and the fruits available in the tropical islands they were located in. Soon after this, there came a meetup that lasted a lifetime. When Burton met Shirley Robbins, who happened to be Irvine's sister, they both fell in love and got married. Later, they both settled in Pasadena, California, where Burton opened Burton's ice cream shop and started to cherish his entrepreneurial success. In 1945, after getting discharged from the army, Irvine opened Snowboard Ice Cream in Glendale, California to support his family. It featured 21 flavors emphasizing high-quality ice cream being sold in a personalized environment. As the World War came to an end, Irvine was on his way to open his fourth store. Soon he realized that he and his brother-in-law saw the same dream for their ice cream businesses. He was having so much fun doing this that he convinced his brother-in-law Burton to join him in a partnership in the industry. Burton agreed and in 1949 they purchased their first dairy production facility in Burbank, California where they started to experiment with new flavors and ingredients. In 1953 they decided to merge their shops and gave it the name Baskin Robbins Ice Cream after their surnames. As business was booming and the number of stores grew, they soon realized they couldn't handle the workload alone. And so they decided to hire a manager who had an ownership interest in its overall operation, which unknowingly gave rise to a concept that had never been used in the ice cream industry before. Franchising, which is still used today. Not everyone likes all our flavors, but each flavor is someone's favorite. In the 1960s, their brand came out with a unique concept to sell their ice creams that are still used today worldwide. They started to offer a different flavor for each day of the month, that is 31 flavors. Today, Baskin and Robbins have over 1,300 flavors in their flavor library. They even came up with a logo to represent a flavor for every day of the month. For example, cherry was represented with red polka dots and chocolate with brown. This representation of flavors brought in an element of fun and a carnival spirit. They even represented each flavor with a cartoon character representing the ingredients in that ice cream. 
Each flavor had a character and personality. With great branding, Baskin Robbins created something that is used even today at each of their shops, their pink spoons. They were created with the objective of people being able to try any of the flavors without any cost. By the mid-1960s, Baskin Robbins had grown to more than 400 restaurants in the United States. After this, there was no looking back. By the 1970s, they were an international brand. Their shops opened in Japan, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, and Australia. At this time, Irvine and his wife Irma created something in their kitchen, which is an iconic flavor until today is an international bestseller. It's none other than pralines and cream. By 1978, Baskin Robbins had over 1,000 flavors to choose from. From originals to unique new ones, they had it all. They were also a leader in the innovations field of the ice cream world and did not shy away from trying and making new flavors, cakes, and so much more. By 1990, Baskin Robbins achieved their goal of being America's favorite neighborhood ice cream shop, serving more than 300 million happy customers so that they would forget the chores of the city while enjoying their scoop of ice cream. In 2009, they also introduced low-fat yogurt and sugar-free flavors for Weight Watchers and diabetics. They have also introduced cakes, milkshakes, teddy bear cakes for Valentine's Day, and so much more in 2015. From making ice creams at home to being one of the best-selling ice cream brands of the world, Baskin Robbins has always had our hearts. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. It does wonders for the YouTube algorithm so more people can see our videos and so that you can be notified when we launch our next video. We try and put out at least one new one per week and as you can imagine, the research and editing alone of these type of videos takes us close to 18 hours. So we would really appreciate it if you could also check out our Patreon. For just $1 a month, you can support our work. We produce over 12 videos per month, so that is literally 8 cents per video. Thank you so much and we'll see you at our next unmasking.